Hey, oh! <laughs> we have got vinegar everywhere. <laughs> Literally smells like vinegar everywhere. This whole house smells. It smelled so nice before. It smells of vinegar. Now it smells like vinegar. <laughs> Butthole. <laughs> Hello and welcome to an episode of Cheapskate Lesbian. Cheapskate. 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 Cheap to cheapskate lesbians. My name's Hannah. My name's Ash. And together we're Team Ha. Because my name starts with H and her name starts with A. And because we're funny. <laughs> so we, we live in North Melbourne and one of the challenges of people around our age is that we don't have a lot of money. How? Do you spend money and make it go further and spend it on things that are valuable and add purpose to your life? So we also like making homemade things, a lot of homemade shit because it saves money. We do this because we're lesbians, because it's better for you, it's good for the environment and it's fun. And also if there's an apocalypse, we'll still have good skin and less sweat pit stains. Very recently our kombucha, or as I like to call it, our consumption. <laughs> K-O-N. I got it, that was clever. It's dropped because we were spending so much money on kombucha. And what I did, and something I like to do quite often, which mm. Ashley friggin' hates, is that I tally the amount that I've spent in a particular area of my life over an extended amount of time. It just makes me feel bad knowing. Yeah, well, you don't want to know. It spurs me to action, which is why I do it. It just makes me cry. <laughs> so I've done a tally oh, of no. the amount of kombucha that we spent in a year. A bottle of kombucha is about $4.50 each. Average. So average. If Unless we... you get it from a restaurant. Yeah. Which we did. So it's about like $30 from a restaurant. <laughs> if we got an average of three bottles of kombucha between us, which is conservative, we would be spending $700 a year on kombucha. That's so much money. <laughs> That's a month's rent on kombucha. <laughs> That's too, That's too much. That's too much. I why. don't know if my poos are worth seven hundred dollars a year. Because <laughs> it's for your gut. It's for yeah. It's for your gut. It makes me poo good. <laughs> seven hundred dollar shits. <laughs> so what even is kombucha? To me, kombucha is basically it's like hippie coke, hippie Coca Cola. It has less sugar in it and it has fermented stuff in it, so it's supposed to be good for your gut. Also, something fabulous is that you can flavor the kombucha however you like and to your taste buds. So for me personally, I'd probably put raspberries and some lime kefifer leaves in. <laughs> it's like about experimenting, putting on your mad scientist hat and trying something new. Now, the tools and the ingredients involved. You need a glass vessel, a wooden spoon, organic black or green tea bags, white sugar, better than raw sugar, and filtered water. And you also need the SCOBY with the mother in the bottom, which we're gonna be adding to our tea solution. Step one, sanitize all your equipment. So get some boiling water and clean those bad boys. Step two is to boil your water. We used a kettle and we poured it into a glass vessel and we added about four cups of water to about a quarter cup of sugar. You pour it into your vessel and then you add about four black tea bags to the solution and you leave it to cool until it gets to about room temperature. And this is what you end up with. Now what we have to do is put the SCOBY into our tea solution. Uh, we haven't actually touched this, so we've not opened this yet. But the thing is, I think we need close up of that. The SCOBY grows to fit the size of the vessel that it's in. So we left ours for so long that it's now grown to the size of the vessel. So let's see how we're gonna get this bad boy out. All the juice is coming out. Oh no, I don't know how to get it out without hurting it. Should we crack the case? I feel like I'm hurting it. Oh. <laughs> this can't be good for it. <laughs> this went back up. 
You want me to have a go? Oh, I can hear it screaming. All right. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> okay, so <laughs> that's the next step. So the next step is to get a tea towel and some rubber bands and you're gonna place it on top and put the rubber bands why, around Why the, the tea towel? The tea towel so that the mixture can breathe but also there's no dust or anything that's gonna get inside. And then we're gonna put that in a cupboard and leave it for seven days. This way? Yep. Cool, good. Yeah. So that was, <laughs> so. <gasps> oh my god, Hannah, Hannah, No, get the lever. Shit. Shit. Oh, fuck's sake. So you also need to remember uh, not to press the lever, which is what I just did. And uh, it poured all <laughs> over the cupboard. But there's still a decent amount of liquid in there, so we'll be having um, half a glass of kombucha each in about five days' time. It's a lot. Oh, it's dripping. So after you've spilt your tea everywhere, you want to leave it in the cupboard for about five days and it will start to bubble just slightly, which is quite natural. Have a little drink, have a little taste. And then we, what we're gonna do is a double ferment. So we're gonna pop it back up there for another seven days. And then we're gonna pour a bit of it out into containers and we're gonna put those containers in the fridge. We're gonna leave the mother liquid, some of the liquid and the scoby in that large vessel to make some more kombucha later on. And we're gonna add our flavors. So how do you think that went, Ashley? <laughs> I mean, we poured most of the kombucha solution out now. Into the toaster. Into the toaster. <laughs> so now we can't have toast or tasty kombucha probably. We probably poured out half the sugar. So But that's now... okay because the main thing is that you give it a try. Yeah. And fail doing it. Yes. If you have any hints or tips or tricks on how to actually truly make kombucha, we'd love to hear about them. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, comment below, or like the video, and we will see you next time. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Okay. Bye. Love you. Love you. Love you. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam. Bye. Literally smells like vinegar everywhere. This whole house smells. It smells so nice before. It smells of vinegar. Now it smells like vinegar. But oh. <laughs> we're the ha cheapskate Hannah and Ashley. We're the vinegar words.